Hello my students 8th grade welcome again to English classes for today inshallah we're going to continue our lessons from unit number 8 and today's lesson is writing for today we're going to have two outcomes the first one is to write an invitation email to a friend the second one is to learn referencing words so you need to open your student book page 93 and your workbook page 82 and 83 so we're going to invite our friend to an occasion or an event or a celebration and here we have a model this email as you see in front of you is written by Sarah and she's writing to her friend Lola to invite her to a special occasion look at the photo and read Sarah's email what is she planning to do so please read the email silently and write the answer for this question what is she planning to do what is she going to celebrate and so on according to the email she's going to celebrate the end of the scholastic year and they are going to have a party or sorry email exercise number two here we have questions about the details of the email read sarah's email again and answer the questions question number one what are Sarah and her friends celebrating? They are celebrating the end of the school year. Number two, how are they going to celebrate and where? They are going to have a meal at Mario's restaurant. Number three, are they going to do anything afterwards? Yes, they are. They are going dancing later. Number four, what time are they meeting for the celebration? They are meeting at 7 p.m. And the last one. When does Lola need to tell Sarah if she can go to the celebration? She needs to tell her before Thursday. Referencing words, it means al-kalimat al marjiya We use them to avoid repeating the nouns in the sentence. And it is similar to the reference of the pronouns. Today, we're going to learn some new referencing words that they refer to nouns in the sentence. And to avoid repeating this noun, we're going to use certain words. We use referencing words so we don't need to repeat the noun. I took my bag to the party, but I left it. It here refers to my bag. And there, we use it to refer to a place. للإشارة لي مكان. I can't find my ribbon. Have you got one? One here, we said that we use it to replace a singular noun. So we have then, we use it to replace a time. It is written here. We use it to replace time. There he, we use it to replace a place, and it here, we use it to replace a singular noun, and one here, we use it to replace a singular noun, so we don't need to repeat it. In the email, we have referencing words, as you see in front of you, they are written in bold. We have them, them here refers to the exams, and ones also refers to the exams. We, my friends and I are having a meal to celebrate the end of the school year and we'd like you to come. We here refers to Sarah and her friends. It's on the 23rd of June. It here refers to the meal that it is going to be on the 23rd of June uh, at Maria's restaurant. That That is the one behind the cinema. They are talking about the restaurant. They have got great pizza there. There here we said that it is used to refer to a place. So there here refers to Maria's restaurant. There will be dancing afterwards. I know you will love that. That here refers to dancing. And we use it to refer to things. And the last one then. I have to book the restaurant on Thursday. Please let me know what you think before then. Before then it means before Thursday. And we use it to refer to time. Here are the answers for the referencing words in the email. Exercise number four, look at the useful language and write referencing words for the words in bold. I am still doing my homework, but I have nearly finished it. Number two, I'm going to the concert with Kate, so we're going or we're meeting at the theater. Number three, I'd like to see an adventure film. Is there one at the cinema? Shall we play cards after dinner? Yes, I'd love that. Number five, let's meet outside the cinema at 8.30. Okay, see you there. And the last one, I've got a football match on Friday. Here we have a time. I need to buy some new football boots before then. In the workbook, we have another model of an email invitation to a friend. Read Andy's email. What is he going to do on his birthday and where is he going to do it? 
is going to try a new sport called power kiting at the beach. Question number two. Read the email again. Answer the questions. Number one. What does Andy invite Nina to? Andy invites Nina to his birthday party. Number two. What is power kiting? It is a combination of skateboarding and flying a kite. Number three. When is he going power kiting? On Saturday, 16th of May. Who is going with him? Martin and Alex. Number five. Where are they meeting? They are meeting at Andy's house. And the last one. Where are they going to have lunch? At a fast food restaurant next to the beach. Number three, look, look back at Andy's email. What do the words in bold refer to? It is about referencing words. So, number one, I'm writing to invite you to my birthday party. I didn't want a big one birthday party. That refers to power kiting. The next one is skateboarding, and here are the rest of the items. Exercise number four, we have sentences about referencing words we're going to put the suitable referencing word or pronoun number one where is john i can't find him and i've called him three times so here they are talking about john number two i'd like you to come to the aquarium with me would you like that which refers to coming to the aquarium number three an amusement park what can you do there Number four, there are two roller coasters and I want to go on the one called the flying fish and here are the rest of the items. Exercise number five, we have descriptions and we have words in the box. We're going to read the description and see what this description refers to or describes which one of these sentences or one of these words. Number one. It will be cold and you will need warm socks for the skates, ice skate center. Number two, they are going to tell us about the animals and we can feed some of the birds zoo. Number three, I don't think they will let us swim with the dolphins, but we can touch them aquarium. Number four, we're going to go down some huge water slides, bring a towel with water park and the last one we can go on the climbing wall and go power kiting to adventure sports center exercise number six complete the sentences with the present continuous form of the verbs in brackets we use the present continuous to talk about arrangements or plans and the form of present continuous is is am r plus verb with an i n g check the al is r or am Plus verb with an ing. Number one, we're meeting at Gina's house at two o'clock. Number two, Tom and I, here we have a compound subject, so are having lunch at the water park. Number two, we are taking the bus to the zoo from the city center. Number four, Patricia and Nicola are coming and we are going skating. The last one. Jan and I, compound subject, are leaving at 3 o'clock, so let us meet at the door. Because you're inviting a person to an occasion for you or to an event, you have to show that you are excited about the event. I'm really looking forward to seeing you. This shows that you are exciting about the event. The question about this idea, which sentence doesn't say that you are excited? Hope you can come. It will be great if you can come too. I'm sure we will have a fantastic time together. I'm not sure what we are going to do. I really hope you can join us. So sentence number four doesn't show that you are excited about the celebration or the occasion. Exercise number eight. Order the things Andy does in his email. First of all, asks Nina about her life. Invites Nina. Gives the reason for the celebration, explains the activity, explains arrangements, and finishes the email. So here you're going to put these ideas in your email. You have to ask the person you're writing to about his or her life. You have to invite him or her. You have to give reasons for the celebration. You have to explain the activities. What are you going to do in this event or occasion? You have to explain the arrangements. What are you going to do after that? And you're going to finish the email. This is all that I have for today, my students. Have a nice day.